we will discuss about growth hormone growth hormone is also known as somatotrophy it is most important hormone for the postnatal growth and development to the adult size it is also helpful to maintain lean body mass and bone mass in adults it is secreted by acidophilic cells of the anterior pituitary structure growth hormone consists of a single unbranched chain containing 191 amino acids and two disulfide bondages molecular weight is about 21500 species specificity growth hormone obtained from different species show chemical as well as immunological variations and therefore it shows species specificity human growth hormone and monkey growth hormone have similar biological activities growth hormone is derived from dna recombinant technology regulation of growth hormone secretion growth hormone secretion is regulated by hypothalamus hypothalamus controls growth hormone secretion by releasing ghrh and ghrih that is growth hormone releasing hormone and growth hormone release inhibiting hormone starting with growth hormone releasing hormone it is a polypeptide having 44 amino acids and it stimulates growth hormone secretion from anterior pituitary various factors they stimulate growth hormone releasing hormone secretion and they are hypoglycemia it increases growth hormone releasing hormone secretion through glucoreceptor cells present in the ventromedial nucleus of the hypothalamus here the neurotransmitter is epinephrine second that is emotions exercise and physical stress they also increase growth hormone releasing hormone another factor that is slow wave sleep it is also associated with increase in the growth hormone releasing hormone but here the neurotransmitter is serotonin certain amino acids they also increase growth hormone releasing hormone important one is arginine and it is by alpha adrenergic stimulation of the receptors present in the neurons and it releases growth hormone releasing hormone another is growth hormone releasing peptide that is also known as ghrelin it increases growth hormone releasing hormone secretion this growth hormone releasing peptide or ghrelin it is secreted by auxiliary glands of the stomach and it increases growth hormone release by its direct action on the anterior pituitary gland also another is growth hormone releasing inhibiting hormone this is also polypeptide having 14 amino acids and it inhibits the release of growth hormone from anterior pituitary gland various factors they stimulate growth hormone inhibiting hormone secretion they are hyperglycemia and high plasma free fatty acid concentration now we discuss about plasma level as well as variations in the growth hormone secretion blood plasma growth hormone level it varies in adult from 1.5 to 3 nanogram per ml whereas in the children it is 6 nanogram per ml there is pulsatile release of the growth hormone and that is 10 to 20 pulses per day and this pulses are regulated by growth hormone releasing hormone and growth hormone inhibiting hormone now diurnal variation of the plasma level of growth now diurnal variation of the growth hormone secretion here we can say that nocturnal peak at the time of night peak of the growth hormone occurs 1 to 2 hours after deep sleep pulses they are greater in the children than in the adult from birth to early childhood plasma growth hormone level increases progressively at puberty it is associated with peak period of plasma growth hormone level and 
with increase in the age there is decrease in the growth hormone secretion in response to growth hormone releasing hormone as well as other stimuli we have discussed and that results in decrease in the growth hormone secretion which is responsible for decrease in the lean body mass as well as decrease in the physical fitness protein synthesis and metabolic rate as well as with increase in the age there is increase in the adipose mass circulation half life and metabolism of growth hormone growth hormone is circulated in bound form with the plasma protein one molecule of protein binds with two molecules of growth hormone half life of the circulating growth hormone in human being that is 0 to 20 minutes and daily growth hormone output that is calculated to be about 0.2 to 1 mg per day in adult and it is metabolized in the liver and this metabolic clearance rate by the liver is 350 liters per day growth hormone is rapidly metabolized in liver and it is excreted by kidneys now we discuss about actions of growth hormone growth hormone promotes growth as well as it also influences normal metabolism growth promoting actions of growth hormone this effects are on the bones cartilages and other connective tissue effects on the bones growth hormone stimulates osteoblastic activity and it converts cartilage into the bone growth hormone is important for differentiation and development of the bone and it increases protein synthesis and deposition by chondrocytes you can see here also it increases multiplication of chondrocytes and osteogenic cells it increases conversion of chondrocytes into osteogenic cells and it is important for mineralization of bones also growth hormone stimulates osteoblast that is important for bone formation and inhibits osteoclast that causes bone resorption mechanism of action of growth hormone growth hormone action is mediated through somatomedines these somatomedines are also known as insulin like growth factor this insulin like growth factors they are synthesized in the liver and many growth hormone target cells here you can see this is the indirect effect of growth hormone on the bones which is mediated through insulin like growth factor whereas direct effects they are mediated through growth hormone and they are the effects on the metabolism duration of action growth hormone actions they are last for about 20 minutes whereas actions of insulin like growth factor last for 20 hours growth hormone receptors growth hormone receptors they are of different sizes and they are present on the cell membrane of target tissue mainly liver and adipose tissue growth hormone receptors they belong to cytokine family of receptor they have three parts one large extracellular portion you can see in the diagram second that is transmembrane domain and large intracellular cytoplasmic portion mechanism of action when growth hormone binds with the receptor it increases production of insulin like growth factor growth hormone stimulates production of insulin like growth factor and this is by gene expression this is mediated by tyrosine phosphorylation of signal transducer and activator of transcription short form for this it is stat and therefore the pathway is known as jack stat pathway now we discuss effects of growth hormones on the metabolism starting with protein metabolism growth hormone has anabolic effect on the protein metabolism that means it promotes protein deposition in the tissue and the effects are growth hormone increases rate of amino acid transport you can see here in the diagram 
Also, growth hormone increases protein synthesis by increasing RNA translation and transcription. It also decreases catabolism of protein and therefore it has protein anabolic action. So you can say overall effects of the growth hormone on the protein metabolism is positive nitrogen balance and therefore there is increase in the body weight. Growth hormone also decreases protein catabolism as well as it also decreases degradation of amino acids for energy purpose. Effects of growth hormones on fat metabolism. You can see in the diagram growth hormone promotes lipolysis. Mainly this effect is seen on the adipose tissue cells and it increases utilization of fat for energy. So it has protein sparing effect it is not utilizing proteins, amino acids for degradation but it uses fat for the degradation and this is known as protein sparing action. Because of this effect there is increased level of circulating free fatty acid. Plasma free fatty acids they provide a source of energy for the tissue during fasting, during stressful condition or when blood sugar level decreases. In all these conditions, growth hormone secretion increases and they in turn increase level of free fatty acids. Growth hormone also increases hepatic oxidation of free fatty acid and therefore free fatty acids they are converted into ketone bodies and this is known as ketogenic effect of growth hormone. Now, Effects of growth hormone on the carbohydrate metabolism. Growth hormone is antagonist of insulin and it produces hyperglycemia. It is by following ways. It decreases glycolysis. As it decreases glycolysis, glucose cannot be used for the energy. And it mobilizes and uses free fatty acid for the energy. And as glucose is not used for the energy, the glucose is stored in the form of glycogen. It also increases gluconeogenesis. And by gluconeogenesis, hepatic glucose output is increased and that results in increase in the blood sugar level. It also increases deposition of glycogen as we have discussed. Glycolysis is reduced and this glucose is used to be deposited as glycogen. It also decreases uptake of glucose by tissue. As glucose is not taken by the tissue, blood glucose level is increased. And by all these actions, it increases blood sugar level and therefore it is known as diabetogenic hormone. Effects of growth hormone on the mineral metabolism. Growth hormone promotes mineralization of bones, especially in the growing children. And this effect of the growth hormone is mediated through insulin-like growth factor. It causes positive balance of calcium, phosphate and magnesium. Growth hormone increases renal absorption of calcium, phosphate and magnesium. Also, it promotes retention of sodium, potassium and chloride in the body. Effects of growth hormone on the lactation. Growth hormone increases milk production in the lactating animals. And these actions are similar to prolactin and therefore it is known as prolactin-like effects of the growth hormone. This is all about growth hormone. Thank you.